Welcome to the iSport Connect Olympic Update. I'm Michael Peary. The Chinese jets that buzzed Taiwan's airspace recently were not part of an aerial dress rehearsal for the opening ceremony of next year's Beijing Winter Olympic Games. While many commentators feared the presence of the military jets might destabilise the region, any move on Taiwan in the weeks ahead would be a flight of fantasy, risking the final build-up for the Olympics, regarded by the Communist Party of China as an event of enormous global prestige for the superpower and its leadership. Following an easing of tensions, China's focus now is firmly on completing the last 100 days of its long march into Olympic and world history. After hosting the Beijing 2008 Summer Games, China is poised to become the first nation to also host the Winter Games. As world leaders prepare for the Glasgow Climate Summit, the leader of the world's biggest nation will remain at home in China to take the heat out of the political climate surrounding the Games. This includes growing Beijing boycott calls over human rights and China's handling of the initial coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, south of Beijing, which has crippled the planet. More national Olympic committees are mandating vaccinations following a recent surge of infections in Beijing. New countermeasures to protect the world's best winter athletes have also been announced, restricting movement and entry of participants and the virus inside and between games venues and locations. These include the iconic Bird's Nest, China's good luck stadium for all Olympic seasons. Xi Jinping is expected to open the Winter Games on February 4 in the landmark stadium from the Summer Games. Set against a backdrop of unprecedented global uncertainty, final preparations for these Beijing Games, however, like China's recent jet squadron incursions, may be a flight into the unknown. Michael Peary for iSport Connect.